good morning today we are going to see binary multiplier already we have seen half adder half subtractor now we are going to see binary multiplier that is how to multiply two binary numbers okay in half adder we have seen <coughs> we have added 1 plus 1 or 1 plus 0 0 plus 0 just like okay only two bits can be added in a half adder in a half subtractor as well 1 minus 0 0 minus 1 0 minus 0 1 minus 1 okay half adder means two here one zero you can add zero plus one also okay it is not a <coughs> different thing okay half adder means you are adding two numbers that is two binary numbers or binary bits here half subtract means you are subtracting two binary bits here in a binary multiplier you are going to multiply two bits okay for example one one can be multiplied by another one one or one one can be multiplied by one zero okay how to implement this binary multiplier this binary multiplication that is called binary multiplier circuits okay i'll explain first with the decimal number just to multiplication and then i'll convert you to binary and then we'll design a circuit for a binary multiplier okay <coughs> now in lower classes schools we have studied multiplication normal decimal multiplication i have taken two numbers 43 and 32 both are decimal numbers now if you multiply 3 by 2 6 and 2 by 4 8 okay 43 is multiplied by first number 2 and it is 86 and you have to multiply the second number 3 okay 43 into 3 for this you should you have to shift one digit left okay you have to shift one digit left therefore 3 into 3 9 and 3 into 4 12 now you have to write the number 6 as a result therefore i have given arrow and it is written as a result now you have to add this 8 plus 9 or 9 plus 8 equal to 17 and 1 is taken as a carry okay to the next digit now 2 plus 1 3 and this one comes as okay now this is the product term 43 into 32 it is a product term now two bit number okay two bit decimal number is multiplied by two bit decimal number now you are getting four terms okay four digit number you have four digit number therefore i marked here p0 p1 p2 and p3 now instead of number we have to design circuit for a general purpose okay instead of particular number we have to design a circuit for a general purpose therefore i take the number as a0 and a1 i take the number as a0 and a1 here a0 is 0 or 1 and here a1 is 0 or 1 and the second number is b1 b0 understand instead of taking a particular number decimal number or binary because we are going to implement binary we are going to implement binary number multiplication but for a general purpose instead of 1 0 if i do for general purpose you can give the value after that now what how to implement this this reason here 3 into 2 or 2 into 3 6 here instead of writing the number i am going to write a0 b0 okay b0 is yes, multiplied with a0 therefore the product is a0 b0 and second what we have done 2 is multiplied by 4 here b0 is yes, multiplied with a1 therefore a1 b0 a1 b0 therefore it is one product and this is one product a0 is multiplied with b0 and a1 is multiplied with b0 just like 
Now this comes as a final term. And now we have to multiply by B1. And we have to write here. Therefore, B1 is multiplied by A0. Therefore, here you can write A0, B1. A0, B1. And B1 should be multiplied by A1. Therefore, here you are getting A1, B1. Okay. Here, sorry. Here it is A0. Okay. B1 is multiplied with A0. Therefore, A0 into B1. And I will write it here. Okay. A0, B1. And B1 with A1. Now, what we have done here? Here, this number directly comes as a product. Therefore, A0, B0. Okay. Just like 6. Just like 6, it comes. Therefore, it is B0. Okay. Now, you go to add this. Just like 9 plus 8. You go to add. Here, you can add. But, <clears throat> how can you write? It is a decimal number. You can easily write. But, it is a general number. Therefore, instead of number, I am writing P1. Okay. Just to 4 digits should become. Therefore, here, I am writing P1. Instead of, or next, I write P1 here. Okay. And here, one carry is coming to the next digit. Therefore, you can put carry also. You can put carry also. Okay. Carry is coming from after adding this. Okay. Here, one sum is coming. That sum is P1. And the carry is taken to the next digit. Now, you have to add this. Just like 1 plus 2. Okay. Okay. You have to add this. Now, this is another sum. And here, one carry is there. Just like if carry is coming, carry otherwise, <coughs> you can leave it. Now, carry is mean, you have to write another carry. Here, C1 means, you can write C2. Okay, C1, C2 or C0, C1. This is all, <coughs> just we are numbering it. Therefore, you can write C1 or C0 or here, C1. Okay, it is not a matter. Now, here, you can write a 0 and yes 1. Okay, a 0, yes 1. Or here you can write a 0, yes 1, yes 2, just like. Okay, these are all numbering. You can write as it is. Now, <coughs> this is P2 and this is P3. Okay, this is the final product. This is the final product having 4 digits. Here, 4 bits. Okay, P0, P1, P2 and P3. Understand? Now, I am going to transform this into a circuit. If you understand this, you can easily transform into a circuit. Here, what we have done, we have multiplied two bits and we are adding two bits. Okay? We have multiplied B0 with this number and B1 with this number. And we have added this number and we got the final product. Therefore, for multiplication, already you know, we have to use AND gate. For multiplication, for multiplication, you are using AND gate. Okay. Therefore, this is the AND gate you are using multiplication. For example, a into B means you are getting A and B. Okay. For multiplication, these two are inputs and this is the final product. Now, here you are adding two bits. For example, it is 1, it is 1 means definitely it will be, result will be 1. And here also 1. Therefore, 1 plus 1. In a half adder, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. That means we can use half adder here. Again, I am telling half adder is a circuit. Half adder is a circuit. Okay, simply you can write HA. It has two inputs. It has two inputs A and B. Okay, half adder is a circuit and it has two inputs and it is used to add two bits at a time. Now you are getting two output. One is sum output. One is sum output. 
another is carry output okay one is sum output another is carry output if you don't understand you please see the half header circuit okay lesson now i am going to implement this only now product for and get and for addition half header now just to see what we have done here a0 and a1 are multiplied by b0 therefore now i can draw here 2 and gates okay first one is here this one a1 and second one is here a2 okay a1 a2 or sorry here i have given a1 a0 now therefore you give a1 a0 a1 a0 okay now <coughs> i will write it clearly a zero. Now a a zero a one is multiplied by b zero. Therefore, now you have to give b zero here. Okay, you give b zero. Now b zero is multiplied with a zero in this AND gate, and b zero is multiplied by a one by this AND gate. Okay, and this first term is coming directly as a product. Therefore. This first term comes directly as a product. Okay, here you can write P one. Okay, or here little P zero. Therefore, you write here P zero. And see here A one B zero. Now you are getting here. You are getting here A one B zero. Okay, and. You have to multiply this a zero b one and a one b one. Now this number is multiplied with two numbers, two bits. Or now you have to again go for two and gate. Okay. Now another and gate here. You can write here another and gate here. Okay. And here another and gate. Now the same input because b one is multiplied with a zero and a one. Therefore, you have to give the same number a zero and a one, and it should be multiplied with b one. Therefore, you have to give here b one. You have to give here b one. Okay. Now what we have done? <coughs> a one b zero is added with a zero b one. Okay, here this is a zero b one. Okay, now these two are given to the half adder. Okay, these two are given to the half adder as a input. Okay, understand? Here a one b zero and another one a zero b one. A one b zero, a zero b one. Both are given as a two input to the half adder, and you are getting sum. Therefore, this sum is P one. This sum is P one. Now, <clears throat> one carry will be there in a half adder. One sum, another carry will be there, and this carry should be taken to the next digit. That means A one B one. Now you are getting here A one B one. A one B one. Now this should be given to the another half adder. This should be given to the another half adder. I mark H J. I mark H J half adder. Okay. And see here, these two numbers are added, and sum is written, and carry is taken to the next digit, and it is added with the A one B one. Here A one B one. It should be added with this. Therefore. This carry should be added to the half adder. This carry should be added to the half adder. Now this half adder produces one sum and another carry, and this sum is P two and another is P three. Okay. Actually, this is sum output. This is a sum output, and this is a. Sum output and this is a 
carry output. This is the carry output, and this is the carry output. Okay. Now you got P0, P1, P2, P3, just like this. Okay. It is a general purpose multiplier. Instead of binary number, we have designed general purpose multiplier. Understand this? B0 is multiplied with two bits A0, A1 using two AND gates and B1 is multiplied by A0, A1 by these two AND gates and this term comes directly and these two terms are added, these two terms are added by a half adder and sum is written as a result and carry is taken to the next digit, carry is taken to the next digit to add. Now this is coming here and both are added and result is you are getting P0, P1, P2, P3. Okay, this is very important topic. Therefore, you please rewind and you clearly understand this. Thank you very much. If you have a doubt, please drop in a comment box. Thank you.